Hey there people, welcome back to Spray Love and today I'm going to talk about a very special holiday gift like early holiday gift that I received from uh, my best friend so this is uh, a fragrance called uh, Donald or the Toilet by Mickey and Friends so not, not the Donald you were expecting, right? Uh, the better one but yeah this is um, a nice packaging. Uh, I was I, I was thinking it was a bit suspect, you know, some three D type uh, uh, like type design on the and there's lucky lucky duck something. I think this is an innuendo or something. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, and then marine things. Um, honestly, what I was expecting that was the box, by the way. Here's the actual, we're going to look at the presentation first because it's nice. The presentation of the bottle is actually awesome. Like it, it just nails it. It's, it's superb. You know, there's a nice blue, uh, coloration, Windex blue kind of, but anyway, it really fits well with the actual you know the drawing on the cover um, the, the cap um, it only clicks into place but it clicks well so it's a it's a good it's a good cap um, for the atomizer you can see pretty good atomizer mm. and the fragrance itself um, when you see those types of fragrances, you think uh, this is mostly going to be, you know, a kid's fragrance, uh, like a first fragrance or something like that. Um, and so it's going to be uh, perhaps like cheaply made or with uh, cheaper quality ingredients. And it is pretty much the case. But the scent profile is extremely surprising. Okay. So the first, the first thing you want to notice is the 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 sailing themed um, packaging and everything is blue. So you might think perhaps a Le Mal type fragrance or even an aquatic type fragrance or a, a freshy, like a, a random citrus heavy freshy or something like that. Um, but it's not. It's actually not. There is a um, kind of a sunscreen vibe to the fragrance. A really cool sunscreen vibe to the fragrance that I, I kind of enjoy. It, it's kind of a luxury sunscreen vibe. Um, I must tell you that when you first spray it off, like the first spray, uh, like before it dries down, it kind of has this Windexy cheap uh, alcohol blast from the top. Um, which dissipates. It's it's not like lasting very very long. It's it dissipates uh, after a while. Um, I think that if it's on clothing, perhaps it won't dissipate as fast. Uh, I've tried it. It it does like linger on a bit more uh, when it's not on skin. But when it's on skin, it actually um, I've I've actually done like full wearings. Of that fragrance to test it out um, and it's an actual combo of pretty popular fragrances um, amongst like a, um, like mostly uh, women targeted like market of fragrances uh, to my nose when it dries down uh, the fragrance it smells closest to is uh, Skin Reserve by Clean. So a fragrance that I actually really, really enjoy. Um, a fragrance that I've worn uh, for the first date with my wife right now. So it, it has like this sunscreen vibe. Like first off, it, it remains a sunscreen vibe. But there's this, yeah, this skin cotton candy sweet kind of very sexy like dry down 
so it, it does remind me of skin. It also reminds me of um, Ariana Grande Cloud. So there is kind of a Baccarat Rouge feel to the, the whole chemical thing going on, but it, it's it's pretty like the, the Baccarat Rouge also kind of a cut and candy vibe is uh, is there like there's there's absolutely something like uh, like that uh, it's it's not a clone it's just like in that general airy cut and candy vibe you know and the last fragrance it reminds me of is actually pink sugar like aqualina pink sugar um, it does remind me of that too uh, there's kind of a vanilla uh, there's kind of a it, it's done in a similar kind of way which begs the question why would this be targeted to um, like boys you know kids um, when it actually smells pretty sexy and um, pretty feminine in a like marketing type way so it's it's really not like a woodsy fragrance or a citrus heavy fragrance that you know you can associate more with men in general. It's really more of a sweet vanilla gourmand fragrance. Um, yeah, kind of in the in the vibe of and a kind of like airy, yeah, cotton candy edible fragrance. It's very sexy like when when you like when you let it dry down it it kind of gets really sexy like it, it gets hot so there's something like that I, I i do think that like uh um this if this set was targeted towards um you know young women like early 20s it, it would probably be more of a hit because for the price point it's it's kind of a no-brainer you could also argue that you could get pink sugar for like ten dollars more or something like that uh which is not much but it still got something that's different from pink sugar it's more of it like sunscreen a bit more pleasant during the high heat than pink sugar it's got that that skin like clean reserve skin sex appeal to it too um i think it's a bit more grown up than pink sugar but still i love pink sugar i think it's a great fragrance and it's got like the the super hyped like kind of a baccarat rouge cloud vibe to it too um which is like it's a it's also like musky it's very hot you know it's i i can't uh i can't wrap my head around it because it's like you see the bottle and you're like oh this is going to be a nice, like, um, I don't know, like, almost just a collectible, perhaps. But it's actually, like, it's pretty decent. For the price point, I, I it's not, uh, it's not hard to acquire, you know, it, it won't break the bank. It's, it's one of those very, very cheap fragrance that you can buy instead of buying Mars bars or, or you know, candies. Uh, so it's not like it's not gonna break the bank for that price point it's actually very interesting because yeah the initial blast has this cheapness factor to it you know the windexy kind of a vibe and it it still is a cheap fragrance afterwards it still smells like it a bit like pink sugar or it's celebrity fragrances most of the time smell like but it's it's done in a competent and decent way so it's it, it dries down pretty nicely you will smell good you you won't smell like outstanding like if you wear some 300 dollars niche fragrance but you'll smell like pretty good pretty it's pretty sexy it's got this sunscreen vibe to it uh i think it, it's a perfect combo if you wear pink sugar during the the, the colder months and then you want to wear something for the, the summer that's like it's gonna last but it's not gonna be cloying and it will have this sunscreen uh you know vibe to it that that, that is pretty nice with like going to the beach and stuff um it's creamy it's musky 
it's a pretty decent fragrance. I was expecting uh, a lot less, to be honest, and I was also expecting, <laughs> I was expecting something woodsy or something citrusy, mostly like something citrusy. I was expecting an eau de cologne type fragrance, like neroli and stuff like that, like soapy, clean and citrusy, but actually no, they're they're like in a completely different direction and. I, I kind of dig that they went there, so it's 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 a nice. Sometimes you you, you buy like uh, some cheapies and they're surprisingly okay. Like most of the fragrances you you will get are done in a competent way. Like if they are like well regulated and they use somewhat good ingredients and the perfumer is pretty good. Um, it's gonna smell good, you know. It's not gonna, not necessarily gonna smell like the best fragrance in your collection, but it's still gonna get you somewhere. So, and this one, pretty sexy. So, um, wear it with caution. Anyway, not with caution, but it's just, it's 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 definitely like <laughs> sexier than the bottle. Even though the bottle is is nice looking, it's 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 amazing. It's like a really good collectible too. So if you like uh, Donald Duck, um, you will you will like the, the the aspect of it. I'm not sure I'm gonna wear it that much, but it it does have like this skin, like clean uh, by that by clean uh, a vibe that I really enjoy. So sometimes I'm like, well, why not? It's like a cheaper, <laughs> you know, in those styles, and it gets the job done. Afterwards, I. I smell myself I'm like I smell good it's it's pretty it's pretty nice and you don't smell the cheapness as much when it dries down so be aware of that and spread love and spray love bye bye